Good morning. I'm standing in Queen's Road and we're looking at Princess Court, which is the building opposite, uh, which is located on the corner of Gordon Road. The flat we're about to see is just the other side of this hedge. You can probably make it out with the plantation shutters. Now there's an entrance into the block just beyond the white building, in the gap between the white building and the next brick building, or there's the vehicular access on this side. Um, just so you know exactly where we are, Queen's Road is one of the roads uh, near the station. So if I look west back up the road, uh, the railway station is literally just out of sight. So it's, it's a five, 10 minute walk. Uh, on Queen's Road, you've got a fantastic chip shop, probably the best one in town. And there's a, a little news agent just up there on the left for uh, your basic daily needs. And if I look back to my east, we're looking back to the uh, roundabout at the bottom of Oakwell Road and on the junction of West Common. And that is literally the Linfield border. So you can walk through to uh, Linfield Village High Street that way. So uh, come in, I think we'll, we'll go around the uh, vehicular route. Uh, this side of town is uh, obviously particularly popular with the commuters, but you can walk up to the station. There's a couple of alleyways that cut through to Sydney Road and there, from Sydney Road, you can walk up through Clare Park, which is a beautiful walk up to the town centre. However, just by the station, you've got a big Waitrose store and the Sainsbury's and also the leisure centre is just around there. So everything's within easy reach. If you really want a nice place to go and uh, have a bite to eat or lunch, then Lindfield Village has got everything you need. So this was pretty much the extent. I mean, this is an old, uh, this used to be uh, a site of a company called Culverwells, which was a agricultural uh, depot. So they used to sell tractors and stuff on this site. So they built these few blocks of flats and some houses. This is one of the blocks, but the other block we're looking at is around the corner. The other good news is we've got uh, probably lower than average service charges here. I think the service charges is less than 1,200 pounds a year. The ground rent is around 200 pounds a year and they've got, uh, I think it was a 125 year lease from 2004. So you've got well over hundred years left on the lease. So we're coming around this, round the back. There's a children's play area down here. This is one of the bin stores just behind me, but a great place. I mean, you know, if, you, if you're a first time buyer, it's a lovely place to live. If you wanted this as a buy to let investment, this would be great because it should rent out between 900 and 950 pounds a month quite easily. Um, but also if you just wanted to lock up and go, this is very, very, you know, great for that. But yeah, come in. Now in Princess Court, there's several different designs of flats. This, believe it or not, is one of the bigger designs. So you've got bigger bedrooms, um, and these people have actually spent a lot of money on it. I've left this door, the uh, communal block door open, but you will see there is an entry system. So it's all very secure. So do come in. We're on the ground floor. It's a communal entrance here. There's four flats on this ground floor and then come in. These people bought this property from us in 2009 and uh, in the last five years they've pretty much done everything. So firstly you've got this lovely engineered oak floor which goes through to the living room. That's been replaced. You'll see they've got these new uh, more modern electric heaters and they've actually replaced the electric boiler. So it's all electric here so you haven't got to worry about gas um, but come through. We've done lots of other things I'll explain as we go around. So this is the sitting room. And that was that bay window you could just about see over the hedge when we were standing out in the road, which was that side. They put these plantation shutters throughout as well, which are really lovely. I always joke and say that they're a bit of a light sucker because they do extract a lot of light. Which if I open all these windows up, this would feel a much brighter room. But that's looking back out the front towards Queen's Road. Looking that way out towards the station. And another big improvement they've done in a few years ago, they've had, uh, it's a company over in Burgess Hill called Three Step Design, who really do a very, very nice job of uh, kitchens and bathrooms. Well, they've redone this kitchen. So this kitchen's got all high gloss units. It's got black granite worktops. You've got this rather impressive extractor fan. And then the induction hob, a double oven, a fridge freezer. That's a, a little dishwasher. And there's a washing machine in there. So a fully kitted kitchen which is all new. These were only built in 2004, 2005, these flats. So they're not old, but this one's actually had all the, the facelift done. Uh, you've got the second bathroom, which is there. Again, all been refitted with a lovely P-shaped bath. So that's a shower and a bath, vanity unit in there. And as you can see, it's fully tiled. So really very nice. God knows what it would cost to have uh, refitted all this, but I'm, I'm guessing the kitchen, the bathroom, the windows, the heaters. And funny enough, another thing is they've had these double wardrobes fitted in both the bedrooms. This is the second bedroom. It's a nice size double. 
they've, like I say, got the wardrobes, all those mirror fronted wardrobes in here. Again, with the plantation shutters. But, uh, you know, what would it cost you to have a really good kitchen fitted, two new bathrooms, heaters, electrics, plantation shutters? Truthfully, you're definitely not going to be able to do that for less than £20,000. I wouldn't be surprised if they spent nearer £30,000, £35,000 on this. And then this is the main bedroom. So a good size. It's almost got a lobby there. They've got some stuff behind the door. Again, a big double wardrobe. And this is a lovely big sleigh bed. So a big bed in here. And there's the original built-in double wardrobe that this flat came with. Again, plantation shutters. Behind these, you can't see it, but they are all UPVC double glazed windows. So a car just went past. It's not a noisy position. Queen's Road has actually had some uh, traffic calming uh, introduced in the last few years. So there's uh, speed humps and uh, pinch points in the road. And then ensuite shower. Again, revamped a few years ago, fully tiled. What more do you want? All done. But that pretty much gives you a good idea. I've explained to you about the lease and the service charges. Again, great investment, great first purchase, or if you wanted somewhere to uh, just have as your UK bolt hole, this would be absolutely ideal. Because you can walk up to the station, you don't even need a car. And with a location like this, I'm not sure if you're allowed to in the lease, but the ground, um, you could rent that parking space out for, well, I've heard a lot of people are renting parking spaces out near the station for five pounds a day. Monday to Friday. So if you weren't a driver, £100 a month, £1,200 a year, that's covered your service charge. But I hope that gives you a pretty good idea of number 32 Princess Court. If you'd like to come and have a look, please give us a call on 01444 456 431.